Welcome back, everybody, to Big Boy Variety. You already know who I am. Let's talk about week one of the NFL season. The Titans Broncos game has just ended. And I gotta tell you, Steven Kostowski, man, four missed kicks in that game, but all he needed was to make one with under 30 seconds left to go. And the Titans were able to defeat the Broncos 16-14 in that game. In the earlier Monday night game, you know, the, the I mean, the Steelers were just dominating Saquon Barkley. The man had negative two yards until, like, the third quarter, at the very least. Like, they, the defense shut him down. T.J. Watt and company shut him down. Big Ben, you know, he... He made some pretty good throws, you know. His elbow was injured. I mean, his elbow was injured last year, and now it's all healed up. And he's looking. He looked pretty good out there. Looked like the big Ben of old. And Daniel Jones is, you know, still young. He still has a lot of time to learn. But you know, throwing two bad interceptions was just the icing on the cake. And as far as the Broncos go, you know, Drew Locke did very, very well. You know, he did he did what he needed to do. He had everything he had everything under control. It was just Big Fangio just not calling timeouts when he needed to with like a buck thirty left to go in the game and they just let the Titans take another minute off that clock. And, you know, I mean, they had Derrick Henry pretty much stuffed all game long. You know, he was averaging under three yards a carry. You know, he had to fight to get 90-something yards or, like, 30 carries. And, I mean, it's just like the Broncos, they got to they gotta, they, they, they gotta do something, you know. Uh, and it was really the stories, the stories of week one were the kicking game and injury. You know, as far as the Cowboys go, Leighton Van Der Esch has been injured. Le'Veon Bell is injured for the Jets, you know. I mean, there's just so many guys that are injured. And I mean, it, it just is what it is. There's just so many injuries, so many things going on. And I got to tell you, ref ball does not care who your team is. It does not discriminate. There was bad call. That should have there was a bad call in the Rams Cowboys game. Two bad calls actually should have been a face mask on the Cowboys. I mean, I, I mean, let's just be real. I didn't notice it at first because I wasn't paying attention to the screen at that time. But you know, that should have been a face mask against Jared Goff. You know, I mean, I mean against the Cowboys, it should have been a face mask. The Cowboys player hit Jared Goff clearly in the face. Referee standing right there. The ref is standing like literally right there. And then of course you know the penalty late in the game where you know, oh well it's offensive pass interference. No, it's not. It's not offensive pass interference. Come on, you know come on, refs. And it's just like a rip ball. But anyway, um about them cowboys, um Honestly, you know, Dak did the best he could. I know there's been still, I mean, we're still talking about the whole, will Dak get his $40 million contract or whatever. And I think, you know, the guy, you know, the guy probably deserves it, but I think he needs to prove a little bit more to get that contract, you know. And doing him no favors is Kellen Moore not using his legs, the man should be using his legs at least five times a game. He can run. He's a mobile hill quarterback. I don't understand it, and I don't understand what the Cowboys' defense's problem was. We have to elevate Brandon Carr, you know, just to get things set straight because couldn't defend Jared Goff from throwing these screens, these flats, and these out routes the entire game. Unbelievable. Disgusting display. As far as the bigger, the bigger game of the day, the real game of the week, the real meat that, you know, just, was just, mm. you know, let me tell you, 
Tom Brady threw a pick six again. He threw two picks, actually. Drew Brees didn't even need to throw for like 200 yards. He didn't even, I don't think he even did throw for 200 yards in that game. You know, like, the Bucks defense was just getting steamrolled by the Saints. And I know Michael Thomas is injured too, I think. I think he's injured as well. I'm not sure about that. I know Blake Jarwin's injured for the Cowboys. I mean, I'll, I'll just say that right now. He's gone for the year late, and Van Der Esch is gone for eight weeks. Um, but anyway, Bucks defense just got ran over. I don't think Alva Kamara really ran the ball that much. I mean, they just the, the Saints just didn't need to do all that much. They just they got up and they got a pick six. They they got some missed, you know, they got some missed field goals and stuff like that from the Bucks that really just was just not okay. I mean, the, the, there needs to be something going on. You know, the Bucks have all this talent now, and they have higher expectations now with all this talent. You know, old, you know, old star talent and new star talent on offense and defense. They need to get it together. And, you know, I don't know what in the world, you know, Brady's thinking, but he he needs to get together. He needs to, he needs to do something that can get him on the right track because he's been, he's, he's looking a lot older now. He's definitely more mortal now, you know. But, of course, Speaking of Tom Brady, his former team, the New England Patriots, they had a little bit of a tough game against the Miami Dolphins. Um, Ryan Fitz, magic, tragic, Patrick. Uh, threw three interceptions in the game, which really helped him out. Stephen Gilmore got an interception. I mean, Stephon Gilmore got an interception. Cam Newton, you know, he didn't throw for 200 yards either, but he ran for two touchdowns. Really, you know, the Patriots just muscled their way to victory, you know, over over the Dolphins. And that was one of the games I watched early in the, that day. We got to talk about, you know, we got to talk about the Washington football team. I did not expect, I, you know, I was thinking 17 nothing, Eagles, first quarter. You know, Carson Wentz is throwing TDs to the guys like, like Goddard and Ertz, you know, and I'm thinking there's no way Dwayne Haskins Jr. can, you know, get a comeback like this. But he ended up doing that, and then Washington just poured it on, poured on the points on the Eagles. And it was it was just great to see, you know. But, you know, the, 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 the Washington football team is all alone at the top of the NFCs right now. For right now, anyway. But um, other games that I decided to check out, you know, throughout the afternoon while I was waiting for, you know, the Tampa Bay game to start was the Chicago Bears. You know, like I had seen Mitchell Trubisky just fumble his way out of field goal range. And then, you know, boom, turn that game off real quick. Go watch something else. Then, boom. Next thing you know, Trubisky throws three touchdowns in the fourth quarter. And then, and then to top it all off, the Lions really had DeAndre Swift drop the football. He had a touchdown. He dropped it. Plain and simple. Very plain and simple. You know. And then, good old, the number one, you know, the number one draft pick in the NFL draft for this year. Joey Burrow. Joe Burrow. You know, the national championship Heisman winner for LSU. He actually did all right. You know, he got a rushing touchdown. He did throw a pick, though. But it really wasn't his fault that Cincinnati lost that game to the Chargers, I think. Yeah, I think it was the Chargers. Um, I, don't, I don't know who Cincinnati's kicker was, but he missed a field goal at the end of the game. And that's pretty devastating. So what about Las Vegas, huh? Viva Vegas, baby. You know, maybe John Gruden and Derek Carr and company, you know, maybe they have it on the right track. I know Marlon Mack is also out for the year. 
which is crazy, man. Like, so many players are already getting banged up. You know, I know preseason wasn't a thing, but that's really not an excuse anymore. I don't think the preseason, we've, we've discussed this many, many times, that the preseason should not exist. But, um, you know, could, you know, Las Vegas be riding the ship? What about Kansas City, you know, the one of the big enemies of this new franchise out in Las Vegas, basically. You know, this new city that f the team formerly known as Oakland is now in, in Las Vegas. What about the Chiefs? The Chiefs did fantastic. Like, what more could you ask from Patrick Mahomes? What more could you ask from guys like Sammy Watkins and Tariq Hill? You know, what more can you ask? Nothing. Nothing much. Clyde Edwards, he lair, really shined in that game. Had over a hundred yard. Bullied. The Texans were straight up getting bullied. You know, Deshaun Watson was in trouble all night. Uh, speaking of, you know, guys in trouble all game long, Carson Wentz got sacked at least eight times. I don't know if he got sacked any more than that, but he got sacked eight times. Deshaun Watson was running for his life. Receivers were dropping the ball everywhere. And, I mean, it's just like, wow, what, what more can you say? What more can you say about that? Uh, there was also the Gardner Minshew show and the Philip Rivers, you know, show as well. It was a back and forth out there in Jacksonville. Jacksonville was one of the few places that actually had fans. And I'm glad Gardner Minshew got the W, you know. We thought they were going to tank for Trevor Lawrence. We thought the Jags were going to tank, but no. No, they weren't. Phillip Rivers has thrown some horrid passes. Like, he threw at least two bad passes that I saw late in that game. One of them was picked off. Just just disgusting. And, again, like, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? You know, if you're throwing bad, then you, you, you should just, you know, get better. It, get your confidence up, get better. And I think lastly, I'll talk about the Arizona Cardinals with DeAndre Hopkins getting 14 catches on the San Francisco 49ers. And I think George Kittle also got hurt as well. I think he injured like his ankle or his leg or something like that or his knee. One of them three things. I forgot already. But stunning, stunning upset for, you know, the Cardinals. Like, I did not expect this at all. Like, I had this game on side-by-side side with the Tampa Bay game. And I thought, you know, wow. You know, Kyle Murray. That man can run. You know, should have been using his legs all along. You know, with this air raid system Cliff Kingsbury has and everything like that. But, yeah. You know, it didn't didn't, you know, the, I mean, the 49ers didn't really miss a beat. I mean, they just, they just lost. Like, that's all I can say. They just lost to the Cardinals, who, who really just did well, well enough. And I wouldn't be remiss if I forgot, you know, a couple other games that I didn't see. You know, Aaron Rodgers went off on Minnesota. There was even a safety in that game. You know, yeah, Minnesota made it close. And, you know, I mean, it was just like, okay, doesn't really matter at the end, you know, if you make it close. Um, Atlanta, it's going to be a long year, I guess, for them. You know, Todd Gurley's out there in Atlanta now. Matt Ryan still be Matt Ryan. Dan Quinn is still there. But Russell Wilson just laid the smack down on the Falcons. And, I mean, it's just like, wow. What, what can you say? You know, as long as Russell Wilson is there, like I said in my week one preview, which you can go watch, as long as Russell Wilson is there, you better guarantee the Seahawks will be doing a lot of, they'll be getting a lot of W's. And I think the last game to talk about is the Jets and the Bills, and Sam Darnold still did play very well. Um, Josh Allen did. Two rushing touchdowns. Duke. Dude even threw a touchdown. I think it was like a long bomb or something like that. I don't know. I didn't watch the game. I, I watched like a very small portion of that game when I was switching around between games and everything like that. But, 
yeah, I think that's pretty much it, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's I think that's all the game. So week one really was about you know the kicking game being atrocious for lots of teams. I mean, even Greg the Leg Zerline missed one for us for the my Dallas Cowboys. Like it's just like wow. Kickers need confidence. They need confidence, and they need to kick the ball. You, you have one job, it's just to kick the ball. I mean, lots of lots of injuries. Lots of star players going down, getting injured already to start the season. And we're going to see a, a lot of new faces. I can guarantee that. But join me um, either, to, either tomorrow afternoon or Wednesday for our Week 2 preview, boys. We'll see you. Next time, Big Boy Bridie signing out. Peace.